Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. This is part 4 of Hi Intruders Hide and Seek. I uh, hope you guys are doing well, because if you are, that's amazing. And uh, if you guys haven't already, please go ahead and drop a fat like. I'd greatly appreciate that. Anyways, let's get into this. So this is Intruders uh, Hide and Seek part 4. Uh, this game is actually pretty fun so far, so if you haven't checked out the other parts, please check them out. It's a really good story. Um, and yeah, we're in the laboratory now. It looks like, it looks like we gotta go there. There's also a video camera. There's also whatever that is. Let's just... Okay. I can't leave here until I find Irene's medicine. Yeah, no shit, bruh. Okay. Yeah, we need to find fucking Irene's medicine and clues, apparently. Um, yeah, dude. Looks like another password. Is it uh, for this computer? I got a trophy. Get half of the documents. Okay. PC 02121941. Looks like a password for this computer. Oh, damn. Damn. Jesus. Dear Mr. Richter, I just made the accommodation re reservation you requested for the next Medicine and Genetics Congress. Booking confirmation for Royal Rooms is hotel numbers. Uh, you can check in from 2 p.m. to the 18th of next month. Or on the 18th of the next month. I will personally arrange to pick up your ticket the day before the event and give it to you as soon as you go by the reception desk. If you have any further questions or requests, don't hesitate to write. I am your complete disposal, Lisa. Lisa Simpson. I knew she was up to something, bruh. Alright, who's John? Hi, Paul. I can't seem to... Oh, John. The guy in the beginning, right? Like, talking to... Paul. I can't seem to reach you by phone. I was calling to see if everything was okay and nothing unexpected has come up. Please call me as soon as you can. Fuck, dude. Okay. Um. Well, shit. Let's, uh... Congratulations, Paul. Oh, no. We already fucking, like, read these emails. At least skimmed through that email on the other computer, I think. Okay, files. Password. I got a trophy called Gossip. Check out all the computer documents. Oh, fuck, okay. This is the thing in the fucking, uh, loading screen, guys. This, uh, formula. And it's just a graph. And then, uh, audio. Localized encephalic leukodystrophy is a disease that damages myelin, the layer that protects the axons of neurons, and causes severe problems with the nervous system. Right now, I'm experimenting with a range of compounds that could increase the body's production of myelin. The problem is that excess myelin is harmful for the body as well. As I haven't found a way to adjust that rate of production yet, Dennis, my <gasps> test subject, is experiencing severe side effects. No way! Anxiety, insomnia, irritability, intensely painful muscle spasms. As well as hypersensitivity to pain. No fucking way. These symptoms are making it very difficult for me to conduct my experiments on him. He's already tried to escape several times. Unfortunately, the harm he suffered will eventually make him useless to me as a test subject. When that time comes, I'll try to get rid of him as humanely as possible. Oh my fucking god. That is fucking crazy, dude. Dennis was one of the test subjects? That's why he's wearing a mask, maybe, huh? That's fucking crazy, dude. Okay, uh, what are these? Nothing. Wait, then, that means... Wait, no, Mike might have been a test subject, too. And same with, uh, um, the girl. What the fuck's her name again? Not Irene, you know, the hacker bitch. Holy crap, dude. Holy shit. Okay, luckily we found that. God damn. That's crazy, dude. I understand now why you're so pissed, Dennis. I guess there's hints throughout, like, the dialogue in the game. You know, like, I remember Dennis talking about some fucking shit. Jesus. Okay, this is a video camera. This would be my last entry in this video diary. 
Okay. Seven years have passed since Irene was diagnosed with localized encephalic leukodystrophy. The okay. same disease that killed my father. Shit. I thought it was asthma. They said she wouldn't live more than ten years. We didn't say anything to her. Her or anyone else. I prepared the medication myself and would tell her I was going to the pharmacy to get it so she didn't suspect anything. With the help of Chrysalis, I did some research and was able to discover a cure. When they saw how much it would cost, they turned me down. My daughter's life just couldn't turn a profit. Fuck. I didn't give up. I bought this house and then built a laboratory as well as a special room for the... the tests. I've done things that were terrible, but necessary. Jane doesn't know what I've had to do, and it's better that way. Fuck. I just got the results of the latest tests. The cure works. Okay, good. So why I'm do we have to home. take pills? In a few hours, the construction work begins. I'll come back with my family on the weekend. Jane will take oh. both the kids on a trip while I come to the collect the last remnants of my experiments. Until then, everything here will stay hidden and safe. Soon, I'll have left all this behind. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh, look. That is fucking crazy. Guys, guys, that is... Wow, okay, so there's a cure for, you know, Irene's thing the same thing that killed uh paul's father um uh dennis was a test subject i guess he wants revenge uh i don't know about the girl and mike though i think because they said boss y'all remember that they were like boss they're talking about some someone named boss This must be the card to open the locker. Okay. Over there, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's a fucking mannequin. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take one last look around here. Oh, my lord. That's fucking crazy, dude. Wow. <gasps> Keeps the medicine in the basement. Elevator. Why does Dad want to see the basement? Dude. Why is there gas and fire fucking like what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I am Hello? Anybody there? What is this? I'm like, I, I'm shocked. I'm surprised. There's rats. Oh, what the fuck? Do you guys see that? Ah, oh, damn. Okay, but there's rats. They were probably test subjects and they didn't work, so I wanted to try it on people. Why was Dennis a subject? Did he volunteer? Did he get kidnapped? And how did he not die? I thought he wanted to be... What have you done? Yeah, daddy. What the fuck? Ah, oh, Jesus! Dennis Francis Burton, deceased. What the fuck? The what? Re the subject reacted unfavorably to solutions. Uh, CL1, 2, and 3. Compound RMN5 from Coast Lab seemed to be poor, to, to be poor substitute for benzodiazomy. Uh, causes temporary infl inflammation of the nerves and intense pain for several hours. There are also se severe problems with myelin production. The subject was left too unwell to continue con conducting tests. I injected him with a lethal dose of toxin and dumped him in the Hudson River. James Lamb, deceased. Sarah Michaels Peak deceased. Andrew Heil deceased. What the fuck? Test with solutions uh, were negative, produced some interesting results, but the proportion of agrolase and re ruticomine was toxic. 
toxic. Uh, however, it appears to be a research avenue worth exploring. The elimination of the subject was clear on this occasion. After anesthetizing, anesthetizing the subject with a massive dose of uh, whatever the, the drugs that kill you, I severed the cerebral, cerebral column between C2 and C3 using the Chari saw. A clean death. Sarah Michael Michael's Peak. De diseased test CL CLI 10 to 14. No progress made. Okay, so there's Andrea, there's Tony, there's Peter, there's Paul, there's Laura, there's David, there's Suzanne, there's Ian, Shirley, Edward. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. It's almost within reach. I finally return eliminating the booster from the front. Okay, so he's just... Okay, Bliss. Bliss. At last, I decided to take the risk and grab the only subject I knew with a form of Lil similar to my daughter's. Keeping her alive has been a huge challenge. Test uh, 74 turned out to be the one. Redesigning the mixture's proportions to combine them with a Nero stimulant made the process ideal. I have developed the first cure for Lil. My daughter is saved. Holy shit, so a, a ton of trial and error, a ton of test subjects fucking fucked. That is so sad. Yeah. Right? Wait, what is this? Okay, Bliss Wiseman, female, 24, 5 foot, 110 pounds. Comment, September 4th, 2018. The subject was taken be from the slums. Her body shows symptoms of slight malnutrition. She also seems to have severe, su suffered se several STDs. I'm afraid that her fragile state of health disqualifies her as a viable test subject. I have given her a saline injection with the hope that she recovers some of her strength. If she evolves favorably, I'll start injecting the compounds. September 9th. I'm very surprised by the subject's resistance. After a few days of intensive care, her condition has improved dramatically. After the improvement, I injected components CLI-64 and 65. She seems to be suffering a lot, but unfortunately, I can't sedate her since the anesthesia could interfere with the results. Her lacodostrophy seems to be under control, but she's not remitting. I know I'm getting close to achieving it. 20, okay, so 20 days later, he achieved it, it looks like. I finally achieved it. I studied the subject's reaction to the compounds and reformulated the mixture by adding a Nero stimulator. Two days after standing with periodic injections, her alignment completely remitted. Ah, fuck. The, su the subject died three days later due to stress, continuous back, uh, continuous pain and lack of nutrition. Uh, the subject refused to eat, stating she'd rather die than remain in that cell. The autopsy of the body confirmed that the subject had... Uh, completely cured her from holy shit pills dude dude that is such a lot to unpack that's bliss I thought it said Dennis was also deceased H twenty three height five one. I thought she was five foot and twenty four. Yeah, whatever. This is fucking like whoa. This is this is like whoa. Mr. Daddy is up to some bruh. Nice cop. What if she had an attack? I have to get these pills to her right now. Do I have to? Okay. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. The door is open. Oh, this is the door. Oh. The door closed on its own. I really hope I don't have to go back there. Oh, do we have to fucking go back there now? Dude, I feel bad for these people. I want to know who might be. <gasps> Dash! What the fuck? Don't scream, kid. Listen carefully, and everything will be okay. I can help you. What the fuck? I'm not here to steal anything from you. I'm looking for my daughter. <gasps> no! She disappeared three weeks ago. 
She was seen getting into a car with- No, dude! With your father, I just want to know what's happened to her, kid. Tell me the truth, and I'll help you. Do you know anything? <sighs> that is- That fucking sucks! I- I found this. I- No. I'm sorry. No! I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, buddy. Mike, what's going on there? I'm sorry. Oh, gee! Don't fucking punch me, you fucking bitch. I got a trophy called Test Subject. Complete Chapter 6. What the fuck? Your father worked secretly to save your sister. Very emotional. But Dad hasn't told us how he found the cure. He knew how to find the cure, but his company didn't want to help him. Yeah. So, Dad kidnapped people with the same disease as Irene and experimented on them. Oh my f- He did terrible things to them. That makes sense. And when they were so destroyed that they were of no use to him anymore, he killed them and got rid of their bodies. Do you know what playing an instrument and killing have in common? Doing it well takes a lot of practice. Paul... Is... Is it true? Honey, you didn't know, but you suspected it. All those days Paul came here after work, all those nights you spent alone with the children, you couldn't help thinking about it, could you? Like a song that gets stuck in your head. You can't get rid of it. You chose to ignore it. Wake up, honey. Wake up. Poor thing. You fell asleep during the movie. But turns out the remote for opening the panic room was hidden in the car keys. And there we were looking everywhere for it. Bruh. Dennis. Dennis Francis Burton. It took me a few days to remember my name in the hospital. I was imprisoned for weeks in that laboratory. The things you did to me. <laughs> Do you remember the night I almost escaped? Oh my god, dude, what the fuck? I lost so much weight, I slipped out of my shackles. Dude, what a fucking monster our dad is, bro. With what little strength I had, I ran to the elevator and took it up. That drained all my energy. Where? Where am I? Oh, we get to play as Dennis? Okay. I need to get to the elevator before he comes back. The elevator has to be around here. Oh my fucking god. That is like... I'm... Oh my god. So this is his almost escape attack. How did he escape then? Did, did he think he was dead? Or did he- I think he just escaped. Okay, there's no mannequin there. That's weird. Yeah, bright lights. I wasn't able to make it to the front door of the house. I was so drugged up, I couldn't find my bearings. Okay. Okay, dude. Like, holy shit, I'm... Dead. Dennis, where are you? No, no, no. If I try to get away, he'll catch me. I have to hide. Where do I hide? Where do I hide, bitch? Oh, okay. Um. I hid in a closet. All I could see through the door was that skull. Watching me from the top of the wall. I was convinced it was death staring me in the face. It said to me, Where are you? I'm not. Oh! No! The 
this is this is the beginning. <gasps> Remember, this is what we had in our dream. Oh my god. I was destroyed. I just wanted to die. But you couldn't even do that right. Dennis, remember we need the cure? The boss needs the cure. It was him who told me all about you and gave me the chance to thank you for your care. But first, I need the password for the laboratory. Was well, it wasn't like 4891? No. You mean well. But you're a savage with no self-restraint. If you went too far, we'd end up with no source of information. I've got a much better idea. He needs his family, but we don't. No, 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 please! Just fucking give it up, Dennis! I mean, not Dennis. I'd say the lab password is an awfully cheap price to pay for her life. Isn't it? I know it. Are you sure? You're not trying to trick me, right? The password is four, eight, nine, one. <laughs> Hilarious. Kid loves mommy more than daddy does. Dude. Stay here and watch them. I'll see if what they say about the lab is true. Prepare the program. Come on, little girl. You're coming with me. Oh no. You all make me sick. Ashley, come here. It was supposed to be an easy job. Did they say her name was Smell Ashley? I kind of forgot. Better. Oh my fucking god, I feel so horrible for these people. This dad's a monster. It seems that dad is a very bad boy. Like, listen to this. <clears throat> Subject number 35, last name wise, name bliss. Shut up, bitch! I took a sample of the nervous tissue. So oh, he's gonna get pissed. What is he wearing, bro? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I my daughter was dying. No. I had no choice. You are a parent. You have to understand. Monster. Oh. I think uh, just Jason Voorhees is squeeze his head. What the fuck? Ah. Uh. Grab the car keys and go through the garage door. It's the only way to escape. 
Take the tablet. That data is your sister's salvation. I can't untie her, bro. Like, come on. That is. This is all the data from Dad's research. I can't let them take it. Well, I don't give a fuck anymore. I I, I heard it. Get fuck out of here. fuck my dad at this point. You're dead. Fuck you. Fuck your research. Fuck your mom. Well, no, I like my mom, but I want to play some pack rat. Whatever the fuck it is. One of them has taken the tablet. Yeah, you whore. Can I fucking drive? Where do you think you're going? Fuck you. Open the fucking door. Fuck you. I'll be back to get you. Hey, I'm your I'm on your side, buddy. I'm on your side. Irene. Dude. Got a trophy called Family Meeting. Complete chapter 7. Fuck we outside, man. Dude, um... I feel... Yeah, uh, man. Wow. That, that is, uh, a lot to unpack. Certainly... Fucking woods. Where'd that damn girl go? Oh god. My ring is okay. Fucking asshole. See, I'm on his side for the for the fact that, you know, I don't like my fucking dad. He's a piece of shit. But I'm not on the side for him to fucking take my sister. The fuck? Fuck you. My mom, well, she's pretty helpless. Okay, this guy's fucking crazy. It's just, it's unfortunate what happened. This game, this game is great so far though, guys. I'm enjoying it. Wow, like the plot twist and shit. I don't, who's Ashley like associated? She just wants money, right? Oh my god, that's missing. It's him, bro. I got a trophy called, get half of the collectibles. Pieces are still missing. How was I gonna get the other ones? I didn't see any. I know there's some more documents left, right? Like, okay, let's look, guys. So, yeah, I could've got the one in the fucking, um, uh, cellar, but no, nah, bruh. My fucking ass did not grab it, which I should've, but I played the music instead by accident. Okay, I thought I was on your side, buddy. Like, come on. I thought you were, like, cool, just very misunderstood, you know? I'm... I, I, I gotta put this guy to peace, you know? As much as I sympathize with him, I don't think... Don't hurt her. Leave the tablet right now and come closer. Laura, please. Let her go. What are you doing here? It's over, Dennis. This has gotten out of hand. We can't go around killing kids. Yes, Your Mike! Father, I love you. Daughter. This is our revenge! No, this isn't our revenge, dumb fuck. We won't turn into someone worse than him. We have to turn ourselves in. There's no other way out. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh no, not my. No, not Mike. I'm sorry. Holy fuck. Dude. I got a trophy called Examine Yourself Again. Complete chapter eight. Got a trophy called It's All Over. Complete the story. Where's Ashley? Oh no, she got ran over by the car. My mom is just fucking... Dude. Dude, holy fucking shit. Hi, Paul. I don't know if you can hear me or not. You never really believed in these things, and I stopped believing gradually as I grew up. I wish I had the faith I used to have. I need to believe that someone can be cleansed of the sins they committed in life. Paul, what we did was wrong. We? You wanted to save Irene. I thought she, she had, always like, your favorite. barely Everyone no clue. Knew it. So much so that in saving her, you lost your ethics, your civility, your... your soul. You kidnapped and murdered innocent people, Paul. But I can't blame you because you did it to save her. It was my fault. What? You couldn't accept the prospect of Irene's death, but I could. When you told me Chrysalis wasn't going to finance your research, I saw her dead in a white hospital stretcher. So young, and it hurt me, Paul. More than you can imagine. <sighs> then you told me you had a plan, but couldn't tell me what it was. You offered me peace of mind in exchange for not getting involved. I shouldn't have accepted. I should have let her die, rather than see you turn into a murderer. Now it's too late. You're not with me anymore. Your daughter will grow up hating the father who saved her and your son. I don't know which of them we hurt more. If only you'd at least regretted it, Paul. What what an amazing fucking oh my god. I have a lot to think about and say. <laughs> oh my fuck, dude. Wow. Wow, okay, uh, the plot twist, wow. Wow, wow, Dennis being a test subject, Mike being the father of the test, of a test subject, Bliss. Mike sacrificing himself to kill Dennis and to save Irene and, and me. He killed her father, though. Wow, like... Wow, what what an emotional... They made the fucking villains into, like, I guess, anti-heroes, sort of. Not Dennis, necessarily. He was for, like, a little bit. I, I really felt for him until he fucking wanted to kill Irene. But Mike. Mike was probably the best character in this game. The gameplay, the story, the, you know, mechanics, the, I guess you could say combat. I mean, we didn't really fight, but, you know, the walking around and shit and stealth mechanics and all that shit. I fucking loved. I, I have, I, I barely have any complaints about this game. And when I say barely, I, I, I have one on the top of my mind. Um, is that it kind of felt a bit repetitive, like going back and forth, like, oh shit, this door's locked. I gotta go get this key and blah, 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 you know. Um, but... It, 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 it's it's a minor fucking complaint. This is definitely the best horror game in this horror marathon so far I've played. Uh, Don't Be Afraid is a close second. And then, you know, Nerf being third. Um, so yeah, we've done three games so far. If I want to rate this game, um, 
I want to give it, I, I, I really want to give it a 9 out of 10 from my experience alone. I don't really see any flaws. I really don't. I, I think this is a perfect indie game. Uh, made but made really good by t uh, Terry's, uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, f fuck, I, the studio. Fucking Terry, Terry. Teresa Studios or something. They they did phenomenal, dude. Absolutely fucking phenomenal. It's uh wow. You know, you know. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a fat like. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, yeah. With that being said, everybody, I'll see you guys all in the next game for this marathon. I love y'all so fucking much. And have a great night, everybody. Peace.